Welcome to Monash University. My name is Noral. My name is Zik, and today we'll be your host for our virtual campus tour. Hopefully, we can give you a vibe on what your uni day might look like. Let's go, guys. So, where should we head first? Um, let's go to the student hub because I have a consular session there, so maybe we can show there first. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. So, basically at Student Life, they offer a range of support services. From career path planning to even exam scheduling, um, and most importantly, health and well-being. Basically, if you need any help at all, even if it isn't academic related, the folks at Student Life have your back. Yeah, and um, Nurul, I think I should go to my coaching session now, so we'll see you later. See you. So this is the counselor office where you wait for the Monash counselor to be with you with your session. And this is the waiting room and it's really cozy. And you have your own personal teddy bear while well, you have to wait for your turn for your session. Say hi. But the student hub is also a great place where you can just focus and study or do work for your classes. Hey, sorry it took long. Um, are you ready to go somewhere else? Uh, yeah, actually, I need to check out a book for this project I'm working on. But I need to register my student card first. Um, you want to go to the ITS help desk? Oh yeah, sure, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So, this is the ITS service desk, which you can find in Building 9, Level 3. So when you first come to Monash, you have to first activate your account to create your network password so that you can have access onto the library resources, Wi-Fi, and much more. You can also activate your account off campus. If you go to your orientation page and go to orientation activities, they'll give you instructions right here on how to activate your network home account. But if you're still confused, you can scan this QR code for more instructions or check out the link in our description. You can actually activate your printing card anywhere on campus where there's a printer. You just have to log in using your network account on the printer. And make sure you go to a printing kiosk in order to reload your card because you need to pay to print. Now that my Monash card is activated, I can go to the library and check out my books now. Please, let's go. So, this is the library, and if you're wondering what is each floor is for, you can refer to the board right over here by the entrance. So, whenever you enter or you want to go out, don't forget to scan your card. Thank you! The Monash Library and Learning Commons building stand center stage on campus, and it's one of the first things you'll see as you stroll to your classes. You can easily access all the facilities offered here by checking in using your MPASS. So... You wanna go study in the library? There's more places to check out, right? Oh yeah, um, we can study in the Hive or the Mine Link. Oh yeah, let's go to the Mine Link. Let's go to the Mine Link. A few of the smaller areas of study are called the Mind Link, the Idea Link, and OWL. The Mind Link and Idea Link are located near the middle of campus. Here, you can find many large tables suitable for sitting with a group of friends, perfect for focused discussions. The large windows in this area let in lots of natural light, allowing for a focused atmosphere. The OWL is located on floors 3 and 4 in Building 5, right by the Hive. The name stands for Open Work and Learning Space, so it's perfect to work in if you prefer the natural cool breeze to AC. 
The best getaway to escape from studies and to get some fresh air has got to be the sky terraces. Not to mention, it's a great place to view up around Sunway. I could just spend hours and hours to just doze around with my friends while eating some snacks after a hard days of assignments. Students can explore bigger learning spaces if they study in the Hive, where it's a go-to among students here in Monash. It is not only a place for study, but it can also be a place to chill and relax with your friends. A special room, which is the quiet room, can be booked if you want to be in a space without any noise. So, this is the concourse, which is close to the cafeteria. Oh my god, right? I'm actually starving. Can we go get some food? Oh, let's go get some food. Wait a minute, I do not have cash with me. Oh, perfect! There's an ATM right there! Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's go. Let's go get some cash. So as you can see, this is the Monash cafeteria. There's plenty of seating arrangements, so you can sit indoors or outdoors. And students can choose a big selection of cuisines that they want. And yeah, Nuru, let's go. I'm starving. The cafeteria has so many affordable and filling options. Right now, I'm going to get some rice. Hi, what do you recommend? Um, oh, yeah, is that today's special? Okay, sure, I'll try that. I'm gonna order a drink as well. The tables here are set for us to, you know, be safe to eat with each other, but while social distancing. Once you have your food in front of you, it's okay to take off your mask. Make sure you clean up after yourself after you're finished eating. One of the main reasons for being on campus though is of course to attend your lectures. Yeah, and the lectures are located under the basement and I'm so excited because we're not going to learn online anymore. So yeah, let's check it out. As you guys can see, the lecture hall is empty right now. But you can imagine that a lot of students can fit in here when classes start. We still have a couple more important things to show you around campus. You wanna go, Nuru? So here we are, the ISP office. So on this board, you can see the different faculties under each level. Each school has their own CMO on each level. So over here, you can see the future student area. And if you go straight through this lounge, behind me are the finance and admissions counters. So this is the admission table, which is located at table 7 and 8. And you can inquire about student visas right over here. Yeah, and counters 1 through 6 are where you can find financial services and the cashiers. So, the ISP office is run by Monash Administration. But here at our university, we value student participation in the way our campus is run. And our student council, which is called MUSA, which is short for Monash University Student Association. And as our last stop, we'll be heading to MUSA Lounge and the MUSA office. Yeah, so we can meet our representatives. Yep, so let's go. So, right by the sports center is... Ta-da! The Musa Lounge! There's so many activities to do in there. Yep, so let's go. I'm excited to play games. Actually, 
Actually though, there's so many things you can do in the Lisa Lounge, like run out of PlayStation or play some board games. But let's check out upstairs. So this is Monash University Student Association, which is their office where they do their meetings and stuff. You wanna go say hi? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, let's say hi. Hi, hi Musa! Hi! So the Musa office is a place where you can come with any student-related inquiries. For example, are you an international student looking for support around campus? Or do you have a question about clubs and societies? Literally anything you want to see change around campus. Come find us. Yep, and me and Nurul will be around here. So do feel free to say hi. <laughs> yeah, and make sure you follow all Musa social medias because we have a lot planned to share with you this coming semester and going forward. Yeah, and Musa really wants to create genuine bonds with everyone in Monash campus. And at the end of the day, like students need a community to depend on when things get overwhelming. Bye-bye, guys. So that's it for our campus tour. I know it's not the same as being here in real life, but I hope it gave you a taste of what campus life is like, and you can imagine what your day might feel like here. So, Zeke, what was your favorite part about the tour? Oh, that's a good question. Um, let me think. Ah, it's definitely the cafeteria because there's a lot of different foods that students can try. And what's your favorite? Mine is the Sky Terrace. I think it's such a fun place to chill out and relax with that friends. That is true. That is yeah. really, really nice. Well, anyways, thank you that's... for spending your time with us. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.